Hi guys, it's the Norfolk Tool Guy here again. Um, I've got another fantastic video for you here today. I picked up this uh, carpenter's trunk off uh, Facebook Marketplace for just £15. Um, and I thought I'd take you along and uh, have a look what's inside it. First of all, I want to start off though by saying thank you to, uh, to Nick H here on YouTube. He um, sent me a set of these vice jaws, which are perfect for one of my vice restorations that I'm currently doing at the moment. So uh, I'll make good use of those. Thank you, Nick. Right, let's crack on with it. So it came with a uh, Papaz, pap yeah, Papaz um, padlock made in Brazil. One key, so but that's quite a nice lock. It's a heavy thing, it's really well made. Pull it in a little bit closer so you can see it. Uh, start with this first drawer here. So sitting on top is a rather crusty example of a Stanley Bailey number four. So I keep meaning to, I've got a couple of these now, I keep meaning to uh, get to the stage where I clean one up. But uh, I haven't quite pushed myself that far yet. Uh, I feel like there's going to be a lot of files in here, so uh, it's got a mill bastard file. It's got a few sizable files in this uh, in this box, so we've got another one here. Um, still feels fairly sharp, but it's got quite a lot of surface rust on it. Piece of plastic. Uh, we've got our first screwdriver or big turn screw. Um, can't seem to make out any makers marks on it yet. Sorry about the lighting today. I um, thought I'd try and use a bit of natural light. But that's a nice big one. Another nice uh, large turn screw. Uh, it's got marked. It's a footprint. It's uh, if it will focus. I don't know if you guys are going to make it out. So the lighting isn't great. Um, yeah, footprint. Uh, BT, nineteen eighty four. It's quite cool. Uh, we've got a brace here. Bit of a crusty brace. Nice ratcheting mechanism. Uh, try and find a maker's mark or name. There's something up here, but can't quite work this one out today, so. Get that on the wire wheel, see if I can get a, get a name out of those, and then I'll post them on my Instagram. We've got another sort of smaller brace here. A little bit squeaky, that's the mechanism. Mechanism feels, no, oh no, it feels free, feels free. Uh, and again, it's too, uh, too rusty to work out a name from that. Uh, cheap home base rasp. Honestly, I'm just sitting on so many files at the minute. You seem to get uh, files galore. File handle. This one's quite interesting. It's sort of a uh, rasp style on one side, but it's uh, concave, just curved. So it's like a half round, but I've just never seen one with the, with the back hollowed out like that. Right, we've got another one of these. Uh, sort of yellow plastic handle um, screwdrivers obviously in the style of the older wooden handle ones it's far too rusty to make out a name on there and there's nothing stamped into the handle so uh, right got a triangle file a quite smelly little yellow handle screwdriver a bit of a bend to it round file as I said I think there's gonna be a lot of files in here some more of these pieces of plastic um, two star two star is that lead yeah <laughs> just a piece of lead uh, little half round file and then another mill bastard file Got a little round one here with the handle. Python. Python made in England. 
sometimes it's just worth getting them just for the handles. So if you've got your favourite files, then you can... Uh, oh, it's just some other fittings, junk and old hacksaw blades in the bottom here. They're on this side, so I'm just going to dump all these bits back in here for now. on with the rest of the box. I'll put that blade into one side to see if I don't lose it or damage it. Alright so I'm gonna pull out a pull out tray this side. So I thought this was quite cool. It seems to be a small uh, straight peen hammer. Not really sure what you use it for. I think a uh, the handle might be from a file though. Someone swedged it on there. But it could be useful for some intricate work. A golden Virginia tin. What's inside? Ooh, a few uh, hammer wedges or axe wedges. They're always uh, well, the, the metal side of it. They're always handy. Got some old tape. I doubt any of that's any use anymore. Quite a few large allen wrenches, allen keys and I'm pretty sure that's been modified, modified to do something, sort of a punch but uh, it's been well and truly bent out of shape. And we've got a small triangle file, you know how we're going with files today. Nice big crayon. Tire spoon Always handy. A few more little Allen keys sitting in the bottom here. Uh, a lot of pencils and obviously old, old fittings. A little pair of scissors, possibly nail clippers almost. I imagine they're probably nail clippers. This isn't going to be the most glamorous of all the, um, the boxes that I've uh, been opening recently or hauls. And uh, the bottom here, underneath, is just full of old plumbing fittings. There's lots of plumbing fittings in here. A little pulley wheel. Um, the person I bought this from, her dad was a carpenter and her husband was a was a plumber, so it's kind of a bit of a mix, mixed bag. Right, let's get to the back here. So the first thing we've got is this big warranted superior saw. It's quite a large one, this one. quite large triangle file another large half round file another half round seems to be a lot of big files at the top here another half round it's going to be a file kind of day a big mill bastard there are a few names on these but I like when you pick up these sort of things, you end up with so many files after a while that you really stop looking at the details of the files. Another half round, broken tip. A large spring. Not really sure what that was used for once upon a time, but nevertheless. Seem to have a large chisel. Breaker bar. So now, so you can see it. That'll be coming handy. Keep that to one side. I'll do some patio work soon, so I could potentially use that to lift some slabs. And then a huge, I mean, that is absolutely massive um, ESC Sheffield half round file. But yeah, that's. Um, that's everything I've got for you today, guys. Sorry, it's a bit of a uh, shorter one and not quite as interesting as normal. But uh, I thought the box was fantastic, so I'm going to try and give the box a clean up and uh, uh, maybe fill it with some of my uh, carpentry tools that I've been gathering over the last couple of months. Um, yeah, so uh, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to uh, like and uh, ugh, get my words out. Uh, like and subscribe, and uh, yeah, go check out Nick H as well. He does some fantastic videos on here. So. Uh, Top job. Thanks, Nick. And thanks, guys. Thanks for watching.